This is the best 3D printer on the market right now. I'm not paid by Bamboo Lab. This is not sponsored. I have no association with Bamboo Lab. I'm just a guy who's here to help save you time and money on picking the best 3D printer out there right now. I've got 17 reasons why this is the best 3D printer. And number 11 is gonna blow your mind. Number one is auto bed leveling. I cannot tell you how many hours upon hours I have leveled my old printer. This thing automatically does it and does it in seconds. And after 200 plus hours of print time, I have not had a single failure due to bed leveling issues. Number two is first layer bed adhesion. Look at it, just look at it. Perfect, perfect first layers lead to high quality prints. Speaking of, that's my number three, high quality prints. Uh, zoom in close here, you can hardly see the layer lines. Number four is reliability. This printer keeps going and going. I have put more filament through this printer in the last six months than I put through my Ender 3 in two years and not a single failure I can blame on the printer itself. Uh, every time this thing has failed, it's because I have poorly designed the model. Now the fifth reason this is the greatest printer um, of all time in my book is the uh, print and resume functionality from this printer. Um, I've never seen something like this before. I've had several times where something will go wrong, I'll run out of filament, um, some other issue will happen, I'll have a power glitch at the house, like power will go out, and the ability for the printer to stop, wait, start up again without any quality issues is amazing. Number six is the remote monitoring and camera. Now it's not the greatest of cameras, but it has a camera and you can pull up the application and you can look and see, hey, is something going wrong with my print? That's such an amazing capability on a printer for the cost of this thing. And we'll get to that here in a second. So number seven is Wi-Fi and printing remotely. It's kind of tied to the last one, but you would not believe how much this makes your life better when you just push a button from an application, either on your computer or on your phone, and this thing just starts printing. So it's so nice with this machine that you can print pretty much from any room, any computer in the house. You push a button, this thing just starts printing. It's amazing. You don't have to plug in, unplug, go over, plug into the machine. Um, now I've heard people say that it takes a long time for that to load. That's not been my experience at all. It takes uh, 30 seconds at most for a model to load in. Number eight's a big one, multicolor printing. Check out how cool this is. Number nine is speed. Now this thing advertises up to 500 millimeters per second, but I think typical is about 250 millimeters per second. What I do know is that compared to my old printer and a lot of printers on the market, that this thing is lightning fast. And as cool as it is to watch this thing print, we aren't here for watching it print. We're here because we want to create something. So the faster, the better. So number 10 is setup time when you originally get your printer. So um, when you first get this thing, you know, it's, and it's not ready to go completely right out of the box. And you know, myself, I'm a very, you know, I like to take my time when I'm setting up things like this. It took me a couple of hours, but I think realistically, and I've heard other people say this, I think realistically you could set this up in half an hour when you first get it, which compared to most 3D printers is amazing. That's very quickly. All right, we're to number 11. This is the one I was telling you about. This one's the mind-blowing one. Check out how easy it is to swap out the nozzles on this 3D printer.
So even if you did have an issue with the nozzle, which I haven't, you could fix this so quickly. But what is better than that is that you can either upsize your nozzle for more speed and strength for your part, or you can downsize it for more quality. And it's so fast. Number 12 is a very important one, and the main reason why I think this is the king of all 3D printers out there right now. You get all of what I just described for $399, or even it's on sale right now, as you can see right here, which always seems to be on sale. Now, the one caveat I'll throw out there is that in order to get the multicolor print, you do have to spend that extra money, but it's still very reasonable. All right, I'm just going to rapid fire these next four. Noise cancellation, this thing actually tries to make itself more quiet and it is pretty quiet. The next one is natural frequency detection. This one is kind of mind blowing to me um, and I don't know for sure how it works, but uh, it tries to detect the natural frequency of its base and make sure that it's operating outside of that so that it does not cause any damage to whatever platform that you put it on. The next one is flow control. Uh, this is just a quality thing, but um, most printers don't have this. It has flow control for that filament as it feeds it in there. And I think that really shows in the, the quality of the prints that come out. The last of these four is the runout sensor detection. This thing just uses all of your filament. Like it just goes through your entire filament. Um, I'd never experienced that with any other 3D printer that I've used before. Um, it uses all the filament, has a runout sensor, pauses, and you put more filament in and you continue. If this has been helpful for you at all, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. All right, lastly, I want to talk about something that happened about six months ago. So when this printer first came out, it ran for a couple of months and then there was a recall and they stopped. They stopped production on this machine. Um, and this is a very weird thing, not normal in the 3D printing world. And this is actually, I'm calling this out as a, as a very positive thing. Some people might view this as negative, but um, unlike other companies who have had several safety concerns and issues with their printers, Ambu Lab stood by their product and decided to recall it, um, waited six months before they turn around and sent it back out to the public with the fix in place. This is a really rare thing. I've seen a lot of other 3D printing companies that have failures like this and um, they have no response to it. Now I know Bamboo Lab is based out of China like a lot of these other companies are, uh, but whoever's running that company, um, you can tell that they care about the consumer. They take pride in what they do um, and they're absolutely destroying the competition right now. Now, if you wanna see what this printer can do, check out this video here where I 3D design boxes with multicolor inlays and check out how that turns out.